Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we are um, embarking on a new program. I'm very very excited as usual <laughs> about this program but some uh, programs I'm more excited uh, for than others and this one is one of those that is very very juicy. Mm. The vision for this program is the direction for this program uh, which is going to be for the month of December so that we can really really prepare for uh, the next year which is going to be also a very charged year, a turning point year. So the, uh, this program will focus on grounding and connecting with the earth energy, mother earth energy. Um, we'll focus on the first two chakras so we're gonna focus on rooting and a very strong focus on the reproductive system. Both for males and females, we will do meditations and focus bringing energy, flowing energy to ovaries and prostate. Um, and um, uh, different classes will focus on different parts of the reproductive system, but we're gonna in general bring energy flow, prana circulation, breath into the reproductive system, uh, which tends to be an area where uh, suppressed trauma, trapped emotions can be stored and it is good to flow energy through, uh, through there, bring awareness, breath, so that we can release, heal, flow, find freedom in those areas. Um, we are going to focus on one of the, um, or two of the less popular um, extra senses. So for the classes, I'm going to work with uh, clear aliens and clear gustans. So um, clear taste and clear smell. Those are psychic abilities that mm, are a little less popular than um, clear audience and um, clear vision. Uh, but nonetheless, they're very important because as we tune into our extra senses, we, we move from one paradigm, we expand to another, and it is good to really tune into our capacity to really sense beyond the very obvious physical dense um, senses. Um, for some of the classes, we are going to invoke a smell, a particular smell that I'll invite you to invoke, such as today's class. And for others, we're going to bring ourselves back to a memory where there is a vortexy smell, aroma connected to it. For me, there are certain things that really uh, put me in a vortex, spin me into a, in, into a particular emotion, such as uh, um, what we're doing today, so it is um, that citrus orange smell for Christmas, pine fir um, during the winter in my childhood or my grandma's um, farm with particular animal smell that was, um, because the farm was so natural, it was a very, very um, soothing smell and uh, soothing aroma or even the subway, it really, it, a vortex of a place. It, memories um, or uh, smells actually have uh, uh, a way of accessing um, um, memories and emotions that are unconscious or subconscious. Oftentimes they're not processed emotions uh, and uh, through smell we can access the amygdala in the brain and touch and vision and all of that do not um, have access to that. So smell is one very powerful healing form, way to heal and way to release trapped emotion because we don't want to walk through life unconsciously carrying past trauma, pain, etc. We want to work on every level such as uh, tapping into what is available to us such as joy, which we're doing today, but also releasing the unconscious, the shadow, meeting the shadow, integrating it so we are a whole being. Um, it is a multi-step process, this is not something you can just do a couple of classes and be done, done, healed, <laughs> whole and ascended. No, it is a process and it is a journey and I invite you to really enjoy the journey because it is a miracle to be here in human form during these powerful times on earth and to really um, we're challenged to hold, out, hold our frequency high. 
uh, even uh, when we talk about essential oils and herbs and aromas, when, uh, when we hold, for example, an essential oil, a healing oil, therapeutic grade oil, if we extend positive thoughts towards it or food, could be a food, we can raise its frequency, I've read around uh, with 10 megahertz, with the positive thoughts. If we extend the prayer, it uh, raises the frequency with 15 megahertz more, of course, because we, we connect with the divine, with God, with source. Positive thoughts are in alignment with the divine, right? So it's still a very powerful way to function as long as we're open to see the spectrum of reality. So there is not only positive reality, there is um, light and darkness, uh, and they both are part of the one. If we focus only on one, we're obviously not integrating all of reality and there is something that is missing. Um, the tricky part with the shadow and the darkness is that if we ignore it, it tends to overtake the personality in an unconscious um, ways. So we act out of it and we project it and see it in others more if we're unconscious of it. Uh, over focus on just the light, of course, um, has its shadow elements as well. So we have to have enough light to be able to look at our shadow or at our darkness so we can integrate it and not operate from unconscious level. That is a little bit of a <laughs> tangent. Today's class is a little bit of a different um, but the same topic. Everything is always interconnected. Today's class is going to be, uh, the theme is uh, going to be, will invoke a time in our life when it reminds us of the smell of orange, um, orange peel, orange. Uh, it tends to carry through the air and I connect it personally with my childhood at Christmas because we used to get them only at Christmas, the citrus fruits in Bulgaria. They weren't very common at the time, believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe um, that, but um, for every one of you, I'm sure you can just connect to the smell, involve the smell um, in your in your inner, inner psychic smell sense, uh, rather than uh, smell an actual orange. But I'll say a few words about the actual uh, smell. We're here working with memory and also with psychic, um, psychic qualities, uh, but oranges really, really work with um, uh, on a level of joy, releasing um, stagnation, depression, um, heaviness, darkness, uh, there are very, very, um, um, they're at the frequency of uh, uh, lightness and joy. Yesterday I shot cinnamon, cinnamon is at the frequency of love, very, very powerful uh, essential oil. So the flower essence of um, oranges, uh, it, it, uh, it allows us to really elevate, elevate the spirit. I actually, have prepared a few um, lines that randomly, one of them uh, relates to uh, orange and the other one is uh, something that just popped up on my Instagram as I, I was about to shoot a uh, psychic ability class. So uh, the affirmation for orange joy, the class today, so this is clear aliens joy, clear gustans, you can taste orange if you want to. Um, my thoughts dance on air with cosmic energy. Singing joyfully, they soar above every dark valley of sorrow. My thoughts dance on air with cosmic energy. Singing joyfully, they soar above every dark valley of sorrow. All right, I'll say it at the third time. My thoughts dance on air with cosmic energy singing joyfully. They soar above every dark valley of sorrow. That is the affirmation for the class today. It's just a really, even when we have darkness, we elevate above it. We dance with the cosmic energies and we, uh, we reside above the uh, valley of sorrow. We don't eliminate it, of course. It is there. We, we find ways to really tap into that frequency of joy. This is uh, something I want to read about uh, <clears throat> psychic abilities. Solomon already realized that there are two modes of sense perception. One, mortal, transient, and human. Those are our sen five senses. Mortal, 
transient and human. The other, immortal, spiritual and divine. And this is um, uh, from the Bible, John 633. This sense unfolds in various individual faculties, sight for the contemplation of immaterial forms. So that's clear vision, clear vision. Sight for the contemplation of immaterial forms. Then hearing for the discrimination of voices which do not echo in the empty air. Those are deeper voices, right? They do not echo outside. Taste, which refers to today, in order to savor the living bread which came down from heaven to bring life to the world. So that refers to all the extra senses and we have worked with different extra senses in different programs. This program will really focus on clear aliens and uh, clear gustans and with clear aliens we invoke past memories. Now the other way also works really powerfully when um, we smell something and it unfolds a whole, a whole world of memories. But here we're doing this route because that's, the, that's how we are going to do the yoga classes. We're going to invoke a smell or travel to a memory and bring the smell from the memory or connect to another person and sense what they're, what they're experiencing. Right, so that psychic smell. <laughs> and that is a beautiful selenite. I have so much selenite. Selenite mandala, selenite uh, candle. It's a beautiful uh, cleansing, um, cleansing uh, crystal stone. And remember to flow with strength and ease. We'll start in a seated position with breath work and let's bring the hands over the belly. Close the eyes for a moment and invoke a time in your life. You can travel back to a time in your life where there is, it's connected to a sense, scent of orange in the air. It can be sensual, it can be a recipe, uh, a candle, an incense or oranges themselves. Um, which would be the direct aspira and or bring bring about that smell in, in your in your nose in your um, higher senses as well alternatively you can also bring it on the tongue the taste of orange it is an ephemeral smell and ephemeral taste. When we're bringing it that way, we're connecting to the frequency, which is a frequency of joy, of lightness, of lifting the darkness and feeling light in the heart, optimistic. And as if we're in the frequency of that orange smell, so we're surrounded, we're really residing in the frequency of orange, which really encapsulates the orange color of the spectrum. Grounding, rooting, reproductive system really connected to that. Creation, creativity. We're gonna inhale on a count of three in the belly. So you're gonna expand the belly. As you inhale with three stage breath, hold. And exhale with one smooth exhalation. And again. Try to fill up the belly. So belly breath here.
one, two, three. Inhaling in the lower belly, pause. Exhale, pause. One, two, three, and continue a few more of those. All right, now we'll reverse it. We'll inhale in the belly again, belly breath. Pause, exhale on the count of three. So. Exhale. A small pause in between inhalation and exhalations. Let's go. Last one. And we'll do a variation of Wim Hof. So we're gonna do rapid inhalation. I do inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the mouth. And after that we'll exhale, gently inhale, hold. As I usually do anywhere from 30 to 100 rapid breaths. And after that, a hold of any length that you comfortably can do. So um, don't overthink, just do rapid breath. It's almost like hyperventilation. Be seated, preferably, if you haven't done it before. And sometimes I do combine it with Kapalabhati, kind of a, like a mixture. Um, but today we're just gonna do regular rapid breath. And then at the end, Hold. That's it. So let's go.
If you want to do two more sets, you can pause the video and do two more. Otherwise, we'll continue with the flow. So let's begin with circular movement around the base of the spine. And as you move, really bring the breath, bring energy, bring orange color into the reproductive organ area. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, really bathing the reproductive area. Ovaries, uterus, testicles, prostate, bathing in orange color. So awareness brings energy. When we bring our conscious awareness to an area, we flow energy to that area. The point of the classes is, is to really raise our awareness, self-awareness, um, to help us reside in the body, in the present moment, to improve intuition, which is again, second chakra, gut. All right, let's reverse it. As you move circularly, feel energy flowing to the reproductive organs. Bringing flow, light. You can bathe it with etheric sunlight coming off of the etheric or some consciousness classes that we did last month in the previous program. So that element of etheric light brings, illuminates areas. Great. All right, forward. And rounding the back, draw the belly in. Forward arching, drawing in. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale. Exhale, get fluidity moving through the spine. Great, last one. And we're gonna reach forward and come on to all fours. Spread the fingers open so we're creating a steady foundation with with the hands and the feet. So the hands really have to make a strong connection with the floor, with the ground, press into the thumb, the space between the thumb and the index, press into the base of each finger. Open the chest. Elongate the neck. And we're going to take the right leg up, level the hips, take the left arm forward, level the shoulders, square the shoulders, square the hips. Rotate the right heel slightly in so that everything is aligning, you're not opening here. Elongate, so the fingertips reach away from the heel. Let's bring the knee to the elbow, one, elongate, extend, level, two, feel the core area, three, four, five, great, really pulling the sides of the belly inward towards the midline, opposite side, take the left leg, Rotate the heel, the toes slightly in, toes are rotating slightly in, so that we can keep everything square. Pull the belly in, pull towards the midline. The fingertips reaching away from the heel, a lot of elongation here, balance. Pull the belly in, elbow to knee, one, 
subo. Three, four, and five. Total control of the core muscles. All right, core structure. Spread the fingers open. Those are the secondary bandas, seals. Mula banda. And let's take the toes under, downward dog. Inhale the right leg up and open the hip. Lift the knee. Breathe. Drop the leg behind you, flip the front of the body upward into wall thing. Feel the receptivity of this pose. So we're open, we're receptive to light information frequency. And feel your reproductive system bathing in light, etheric light, so not literally, we're not talking about literal sunlight but the etheric body of the light so the lighter body of of the light side plank left hand down and we're gonna arch here arch 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 lift shoulder over the wrist throughout the entire movement and then side plank Arch, like a rainbow, side plank, two, three, really squeeze the belly, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab your ankle with your right hand, bring the right foot to the front, and we're going to take the right hand up here in a twist, keep the twist and come up into high lunge with a twist, right hand down the left leg, left arm up, look up towards your hand and face forward, we're gonna lift the heel here, right heel lifts, drop it, lift, drop it, almost like a heel drop, lift, drop it, open, look up, Lift through the heart, again bathing, a lot of focus here, almost like the orange taste or smell is, you're tasting it with your other cells, not just with your nose and mouth, but the organs are tasting it. So we're reaching out of the limited physical mind and experiencing things beyond it. So just stay open, stay free to have extra experiences. Exhale the hands down and we're going to tuck the right knee into the chest in plank. Squeeze it. From here we're going to tap the floor on the right side, extending the right leg out, and then tuck it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog, lift through the tailbone. Take the left leg up, lift the knee, open the hip. Again, invite a lot of light, flow, prana, energy, sensation, orange taste, orange color into the reproductive area. Red to orange, but really crystal beautiful quality uh, color. 
Wild thing, drop it behind. Lift, feel light. Light coming over you. Side plank. Have the shoulder be over the wrist. You can stack the feet on top of each other or you can have your top foot in front for a little extra help. And let's rainbow, side plank. Two, arc, three, four. Really squeeze, five. Squeeze the oblique, squeeze the core. Last one. Grab your ankle, step it through. Take a twist. Peel off the hands and take a high lunge with a twist. Right arm up, look up. Face forward, clasp the hands and open here. Let's lift the heel, drop it. One, two, three. Reach back, open the chest again. The sensation, this pose is very sun-like pose, very exuberant. There is a forward momentum in it, forward direction. In this pose, with, with one of the leg almost preparing to reach forward, right? And with the openness of the chest, with the body being in the upright position. We have a lot of, it's a lot of exuberance, a lot of receptivity. We are receiving a lot. It's a very sun-like pose, connected to the sun energy. This is not a lunar pose. And exhale down, squeeze the knee into the chest. And let's tap it out. Knee tuck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. You can walk in place here. You can draw circles with your hips. Inhale the right leg up and open the knee again. Drop it behind wild thing. Side plank. And take plank and step the right foot to the front. Come up, high lunge. And exhale the hands behind, interlace the fingers, open, soften the shoulders. Lower down, humble warrior. Come halfway up, chest parallel to the floor, lengthen through the crown of the head and open the right shoulder up, twist. Release the hands 
and you're gonna reach out with your left hand and take revolved half moon. Press the back heel up. Great, both hands down into standing half splits. And let's bend the right knee and come up to standing. Take the left leg around the standing right leg. Left arm down, right up, cross, wrap, lift. From here, we're gonna keep the arms wrapped and take warrior three. Step it back into high lunge, twist to your right and open the arms. So the palm of the right hand will face up. Soften, release and shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Exhale, hands down, step your legs into all fours and you're gonna hover the knees of the floor and we're gonna pendulum in and out the knees. At the same time, the two sides of the core are gonna squeeze towards the midline and we're gonna lift the lower belly up, belly button in and up. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down dog, take the left leg up, open, drop it behind. Wild thing, lift open. And again, sunlight, etheric sunlight, inviting sunlight into the body, into the reproductive system, orange color also inviting the orange spectrum from the sunlight. Side plank. Arch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and take plank step your left foot throw come up high lunge open exhale clasp lift humble warrior lower down Come halfway up, twist here, left shoulder up, lengthen through the crown of the head. Release the hands, take the right hand to the floor, revolve half moon, lift the back heel with intention. Bring both hands down, standing half splits. And let's bring the chest parallel to the floor. Bend the knee, come up to standing, wrap, right hand down, left arm up, wrap, lift, sit, the speller of darkness. Let's unwrap the legs only, warrior three. Step it back, high lunge, with a twist, turn the left hand up. Release and shake it out. And plank, drop the knees into airborne, all fours. And here we're going to jump on the outside or step quickly on the outside or hop, hop. So that's the move, we're gonna count the outside only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, tw
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Warrior two. Again, standing in your in your strength. When we talk about strength, we always imply gentle, self-realized strength rather than aggressive power. So experiencing it on a visceral level, experiencing strength here, the poses really involve those experiences in the psyche, in the subconscious. So we bring some of those experiences into the conscious. We are continuously observing the self, the workings of the psyche, and also paying attention to the body, being present with the temple, with the intuition of the body. As we pay attention, as we are embodied consciously, and we also embody the moment, reverse it. From here, we're gonna fly <laughs> or shift, however you wanna do it, into half moon, standing half moon. And plank, chaturanga. Up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Take the left leg up, warrior two. Feel your body, bathe your reproductive system, our second chakra area, which is security, connection with this physical realm, the world. And just pulling into the creative force as well. Reverse it. And we're gonna do that transition into half moon. And plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Knees hovering over the floor. And we're gonna take the right leg and do a knee tuck and back to hovering. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the knees down, and we're gonna bring the left shoulder down. Back of the head down, softening the shoulder. Change. Back up to down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior one. Hips facing forward. Again, a forward intention in this pose. 
strength and forward intention solar energy. You can taste with your body the orange color, the orange flavor of the orange fruit or the orange peel aroma in the higher senses. Feel it in the body and bring yourself to an experience, a positive experience in your childhood maybe with, with the orange aroma. Sometimes the aroma is only in the background. We only register it with uh, the subconscious mind. We don't register it with the conscious. That's why memories can, aromas can bring memories because we sometimes didn't consciously register the aroma that happened during the event. Negative memories do the same. The brain files everything. <laughs> the scents in the air, the time of the month, the season, etc. All right, three poles at the front, right foot down, left foot in, ground yourself, feel the central line, the axis, the energy flowing. As you breathe and as you feel in that upright position, the energies flowing through your circuits, through the central nervous system, the second nervous system, which is the enteric nervous system, including the gut, feel the circulation. And let's reach over the head. All right, take your left knee forward and either grab your knee or you grab your foot and twist. Great, and step it back into warrior one. Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Chaturanga, Down Dog. Take the left leg up, Warrior One. Three poles. Bathe yourself again with orange, taste it. Taste the orange. You can cross-reference a color. You can taste the color or experience it in the body or taste with the cells. Experience the frequency, the emotion, the thought, the consciousness connected with a particular aroma or shape, color, but bathe yourself in that joyous orange and breathe into the reproductive system. Just breathe, bring energy, flow, awareness into the area, prana, via the breath, via the intention. And let's bring the right knee or foot, hand to foot, hand to knee, twist, go behind. Step it back, warrior one. 
straighten the lini, take the white length of the mat and let's take plie and we're gonna lift the heels and drop them, heel drops, one, two, three, four, drop them somewhat rapidly, kind of like taps. All right, let's reach side to side, elongating both sides. Let's twist, 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 and plank. Pull the belly in. Chaturanga, up dog and child's pose. <laughs> Let's bring the right leg forward. Pigeon. Bating the hips in that orange. Orange ray. And let's come up, lift, change, open, lengthen, stretch. And come up. I'm gonna, you can move the leg gently. Come in to sit it. Grab your knees. Create a natural curvature in the spine. Lean back, pull the sides of the belly inward towards the midline. And we're gonna pulse here. One, two, three. Four, open chest, you can reset. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side to side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And from here, we're going to lay down, bring your legs up and shake them well. You can use your knuckles along the inner, inner thigh with a very gentle pressure to move lymph towards the drainage. Shake again. And 
and we're going to bring the hands behind the head and lift and lift um, the tailbone of the floor so crown lift pull the belly in two four ten happy baby Spine twist. Change. A few pelvic tilts with the stomach vacuum. So we're gonna engage Mola Banda, <clears throat> Udiana Banda, and you can also bring about Jalandara. Uh, banda also bring focus to your feet as a secondary Banda. And we're going to do pelvic tilt, Mola Banda, so lift the pelvic floor. A lot of the classes will have a lot of pelvic floor in them, and the first class cinnamon dip. So here we're going to lift the pelvic floor or engage the pelvic floor, Mulavanda, awareness, lift the lower belly, take the tailbone slightly or extend it and it's a pelvic tilt and as we bring awareness here and we're going to press the palms of the hands up, drop the shoulders down and we're going to reach over the head, not all the way, just at an angle and empty the belly, engage the stomach vacuum. Release, we'll do one more. A few more softer pelvic tilts just to move the energy to feel the energy to find alignment movement freedom space if you feel any area now that is gonna be a kind of more ephemeral feeling or visceral feeling or a visceral experience if you feel any stagnation or lack of flow of energy in your body sometimes the access is not there but sometimes it is so just tune in don't make a big deal out of it if you feel something you feel something but just check in with your body and the flow of your body if there is obstruction just breathe through it and we did it in a previous class it's like a sound wave or like a wave in the ocean it just ripples when you send the energy whether through your breath or conscious energy, things ripple and ripple until that energy clears out, say, a feeling of stagnation, an experience of tightness or obstruction or lack of flow, etc. Not, not, not feeling spacious in the area, not feeling bright and light. Uh, so just scan and move energy with, with your uh, mind. A few pelvic tilts. Feel the pelvic floor, feel the core, feel the spine, feel the internal organs. And here we're gonna drop, step your feet a little further apart, about mat width, and drop 
drop the knees to the left without any resistance just drop them allow the joints to surrender the muscles to surrender and drop to the other side and lift extend the legs and we're gonna walk the legs over to the left and hands over to the left both hips on the floor feel your body arching elongating along one side but really elongating on both sides and change Both hips are down, making a contact with the floor. <clears throat> Great, and you can make yourself comfortable. A final pose before Shavasana, bring the crown of the head down towards the floor. You can press your chin forward. And lay down. Allowing yourself to experience surrender and emptiness, allowing the mind to be empty and light and obstructed, not burdened. See yourself either floating or surrounded by orange air, orange ether, prana or an element that it has an orange quality to it and a scent to it, an orange scent, really fresh, really light, really joyous, not complicated, very, very uncomplicated and innocent, childlike. and you're a light floating. Everything has this orange quality and scent to it around you. You're experiencing an orange frequency, an orange ray, sun ray. In all darkness, Sadness, depression, longing is lifting off of you to be replaced by the experience and frequency of joy. Experiencing lightness in the heart. and in the lower belly. And allowing that light to infuse your cells. And stay here for a few moments in the presence of joy and gratitude for this human experience. To be here in these crucial times on earth. To be um, an active participant and observer, witness 
of the evolution of human consciousness, to be a part of it, to be expanding, to be contributing, to be a holder of that frequency of joy and love as your service to humanity. And as you heal yourself, you heal the collective, you bring healing to the original trauma, original wound, you bring wholeness, integration. And as you embody more of the soul here, you become present, crystal aware. Stay here in this orange ray, color, sand, frequency, sound, however you experience the orange and allow yourself to really get infused by the smell, by the aroma, by the um, beauty of orange, the, the fruit, the color, the, the ray, however you want to experience it. There is no wrong way. Even if it's just a very, very um, poetic experience of joy, stay here and remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste.